Hi everyone, today's headlines. Nagaland School Education notifies closure of 13 schools. This hardening message for victims and families, GNF on SC's Oting ruling. Disappointment echoes at Oting reacts to Supreme Court's ruling. AK Mistra meets NSCN IM leadership. News in details. Nagaland School Education notifies closure of 13 schools. The School Education Department Nagaland has notified the closure of 13 private schools across the state with immediate effect. According to state DIPR, the closure was implemented following decision made during the state-level education committee meeting held on December 15, 2023. And after receiving no objection certificates from the respective district administrations, however, further detail behind the closure was not given by the DIPR. The schools included five in Koima district, two each in Mokuchung and Zunebato, and one each in Peik, Longleng, Newland, and Dimapur. This heartening message for victims and families, GNF on Supreme Court's Oting ruling. The Global Naga Forum today voiced its objection to the Supreme Court of India's ruling on September 17 terminating the criminal proceedings against 30 army personnel involved in Oting massacre of 2021 and urged the Nagaland state government to immediately file a review petition before the apex court. The Supreme Court's decision to quash the FIR sends a disheartening message that justice will remain out of reach for the victims and their families, asserted the GNF in a statement issued by its convener Chuba Ozukam and co-convener Professor Rosemary Zuvicho. Disappointment echoes as Oting reacts to Supreme Court's ruling. Where is the justice? The pastor of Oting Baptist Church asked in December 2022, a year after the killings of 13 civilians in Oting village of Mon district on December 4, 2021. In an alleged botch operation by the 21 Para Special Forces, another was killed the next day in the violence that ensured in the Mon district headquarters. The same sentiment reverberated as the Naga people, particularly in Oting, reacted to the Supreme Court's closure of criminal proceedings against 30 army personnel accused of killing 13 civilians on September 17. AK Mishra meets NSN IM leadership. The government of India's representative in Indo Naga political talks, AK Mishra, was in Nagaland to meet the top leadership of the NSN IM. According to official sources, Mishra landed in Dimapur on September 17 and met the NSN IM leadership led by Ato Kilongsar T.H. Muiba the same day in Dimapur. Mishra, who was accompanied by an official of Ministry of Home Affairs, left for Delhi the next day. Only a few top members of collective leadership were said to be privy to what was assumed to be a highly confidential meeting. Along with Muiva, there were the Vice President Tongmet Wangnao, NSN IM Army Chief Anthony Simre, and a few unnamed leaders. That's all for now. To guess the don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.